I remember an old movie from the early 80s, it was called Angel, in which a murder takes place, um, a gangland-type hit in Northern Ireland, and the uh, police officer who is investigating it is a Jewish fellow by the name of Bloom. Um, he's asked at one point, are you a Catholic or are you a Protestant? And he says, I'm neither, I'm Jewish. And that did not satisfy the person asking him. They said, are you a Catholic Jew or are you a Protestant Jew? Now, the person asking the question knew that there was no such thing as a Catholic or a Protestant Jew, but the implication is, this is Ulster. If you're not us, automatically you're them. Neutrality is not an option here. Well, I think a lot of this sort of thinking is actually creeping into Western thinking and world thinking, I suppose, um, when we're dealing with things like the Berna Corande, the the mosque at ground zero, um, any number of issues. Um, the thinking go goes both ways. The polarized thinking is increasingly happening on both sides. I'm not trying to say one side or the other uh, is any more or any less guilty of seeing the world in stark terms, i.e. my usual dichotomy of the West and the Islamic world. Um, I want to make clear that I don't really see that. I see that actually as a false dichotomy. I don't really see these as automatically antithetical civilizations, even though each side looks at the other and sees a lot that they don't like. I am not, for the record, championing one side over the other. If anything, in my opinion, I'm championing the West. That doesn't mean that I'm championing, championing the West against the Islamic world, because I think that the ideals that the West represents, the better ideals of the West, are perfectly compatible uh, with anyone who wants to share them. If Martians landed and decided to uh, remain Martians but call themselves Westerners and integrate or assimilate comfortably into our Western civilization, I would say that our civilization is strong enough to uh, to uh, cope with that and actually be strengthened by it. The position of the West vis-a-vis -vis the entire the rest of the world is actually getting better constantly uh, with the passage of time. It's not weak. It's not under assault in any way at all. That's why when I point out some of the good things that I see in other uh, cultures, um, and I point out what I see are some of the potentially glaring shortcomings in ours, I'm not really attacking the West in my opinion, or my view of the West. My view of the West is a very inclusive place where everybody can feel that they belong, have their rights respected. There are the usual bare minimums that have to be met before one can say that Western values are being um, adhered to. But one of those is your private life, your beliefs, your conscience are your own. The West and Islam are not, in the very nature of things, in my opinion, on a collision course. The more I look at it, the more I am convinced that it's the perception that there's a collision course that is the trouble. I think that the West, um, or at least my interpretation of Westernism, um, does not force me to decide between Catholic Jews and Protestant Jews, if you know what I mean from that movie. There is such a thing as a Muslim Westerner and a pro-Western Muslim, and a pro-Muslim Westerner. If we just become aware of this, I think that, um, that a certain inevitability of the reconciliation and perhaps triumph of my view of Westernism, which I believe that the overwhelming majority of the people of the Islamic world are completely comfortable with. We either believe in our values or we don't. Thank you.